Welcome to the latest video here on YouTube. It's great to have you back here on the channel as we talk about the Euro 2020 semifinals, which are going to kick off on Tuesday, July the 6th and Wednesday, July the 7th. So we've had a great tournament thus far here at the Euros, and we've seen a lot of great football. Uh, some upsets have been going on, and uh, we are down to our last four teams from 24. We are down to those last four uh, with the final coming up later this week. And that will be an exciting one as it comes to us from Wembley in London. So there are just four teams left in the tournament, Spain and Italy, England and Denmark. So a lot of good football still to be played and perhaps an upset or two coming up over the next couple of days. And today we're going to break down a couple of those. We're going to break down both of those semifinals and talk about those. And I'm going to give you my picks as well as Z-Code Systems picks for those because um, they don't necessarily match up. Uh, going into this game, but um, they're pretty close. So we're going to take a look at those, and then we're also going to take a look at the playoff simulator, which we've been using all throughout the Euros uh, to give you great picks on games going forward. And uh, yeah, it should be a really good time here, and you will be able to get all the information you need to make your wagers on the games coming up on Tuesday and on Wednesday. As you can see there, we've got the blog up there, the Z-Code System blog, and uh, we had some picks for the July 4 game there with the Mets and the Yankees uh, going at it there in the Big Apple. And, uh, of course, we've been taking or we've been bringing you uh, picks all tournament long for the Euros. Uh, so if you want to go back and check what we've done and check our picks, you can go back and do that in the blogs or on the videos here on YouTube. So, like I said, it's great to have you here, and uh, let's get into those picks now as we get ready for this week's games. Okay, so actually, before we get into those picks, I just wanted to bring you over to the Bet365 website, which is my favorite sportsbook to use, my favorite online sportsbook to use. Of course, you probably have your own, uh, and there are other sportsbooks online for you to pick from, but I'm just using mine uh, here as uh, I want to give you the odds now that the sportsbooks have for the uh, from the semifinals on for the teams that they predict or that they are uh, giving the best odds on to win the tournament. And as we can see there, England are now favorites at plus 150 to win the Euro 2020 tournament. Italy plus 225, Spain plus 275, and Denmark the long shots at plus 900. Now we all know that Denmark um, are a Cinderella team uh, at the Euro 2020 tournament after the near tragic accident, or not accident, but near tragic uh, incident, I should say, uh, of Christian Eriksen during their first game against Finland uh, when he collapsed. So they are, uh, although uh, an underdog, they're riding that uh, that emotional momentum uh, going into this uh, final, well, the semifinal game and potentially the final if they can upset England. But those are our odds coming up for the games uh, in the semifinals. So you can, excuse me, those are the odds coming up uh, as the outright odds uh, for Bet365. And as you can see there, Bet365 will be closing uh, the uh, betting on the outright winners uh, later today. Uh, or actually that should be on uh, Tuesday, uh, that they will be closing those at, uh, at uh, what was that, 8 o'clock, um, 8 o'clock uh, UK time. So they'll be closing that and, um, you know, preventing anybody from betting on the outright winners uh, just before that game between Italy and Spain kick off. All right, so let's take a look at the picks now for the games that are going to be taking place on Tuesday and Wednesday. All right, so as if you've watched our videos here on YouTube or read through the blog, you'll know that we love using our Soccer Buddy app, and you can go over to the Soccer Buddy, excuse me, you can go over to the Z Code System website, uh, to the VIP tools, and you can use the Soccer Buddy tool to help you make educated picks and bets on all of the different soccer games going on around the world. Um, and if you want to know if uh, your favorite soccer league is uh, is included, by all means, go over and have a look because uh, these are just the leagues that are going to be playing today, Monday the 6th. Uh, you can check out, um, uh, or sorry, Tuesday the 6th, uh, you can check out um, the different leagues that will be playing. We've got uh, games predicts, uh, predictions for games from the Brazilian Serie A all the way to the Euros, all the way to the Iran Pro League. So you've got such great uh, options, uh, so many great options uh, to choose from when you're betting on your, fo your football or your soccer, or whatever you want to call it. Um, and also we've got... Uh, the how the soccer buddy tool works and you can watch that video and get up to date on how this works and how it will help you make educated bets on all of your soccer betting now we've got the euro games coming up so we're going to check on those so we're going to click on euros and we've got the spain versus italy game we'll just close that down just a little bit and uh, see if there's any hot trends no hot trends uh, going into this game uh, at the moment 
Now, we've got uh, Spain taking on Italy there, and we've got a score prediction of 2-2. Two, two. So this is a prediction of a draw, which doesn't sound like a bad pick because Spain's last two games have both ended in draws at full time, and they've gone to extra time uh, in both of those games. Uh, they had to uh, dig deep against Croatia uh, in their last 16 to win in extra time. Uh, the game finished 3-3 at the end of 90 minutes, and in extra time, Spain found two goals to win 5-3. And then uh, in the quarterfinals, uh, they ended up uh, drawing 1-1 with Switzerland at the end of full time. No goals in the uh, in the extra time period uh, as Switzerland just played an incredible game defensively and uh, Jan Sommer in goal. Uh, and that game went to penalties where Spain won 3-1 uh, in a penalty shootout where neither team was very strong uh, in that. But uh, they did prevail and to, and go through to the semifinal here to face Italy, who I think from the get go have been the the dark horse, the team to beat uh, in this tournament. I, uh, as I've said before here on our videos, I put money on Italy to win the tournament pre-tournament. I thought they were looking good going into it, uh, and they haven't disappointed. Uh, their strong defense uh, did go. Uh, I believe it was twelve games without conceding a goal until conceding in uh, in regulation against Belgium last time out in the quarterfinals. Uh, we did see them have to go to extra time to defeat Austria 2-1 uh, in the round of 16 before defeating Belgium 2-1 uh, in the in the uh, quarterfinals uh, just last weekend. Uh, and Italy were in control for a lot of that game. Uh, they played well, they played on the counter, uh, and they were up 2-0 at one point before Belgium were able to pull a goal back and put a little pressure on Italy uh, as the game went on. But Italy were just brilliant in defense, and they have been all throughout the tournament. Now, the difference between these teams, we're going to see Spain uh, looking to keep possession of the ball. Um, that's what they do. They, they have a possession-based attack, uh, and they try to uh, surround that uh, at the final third uh, to get goals. But Italy, they love playing defense, and they've been hitting teams on the counterattack throughout this whole tournament. I fancy Italy uh, with their defensive pressure and with the pace that they have in the team. I expect them to get goals uh, and to to break on the counterattack and to score against Spain. I really like Italy in this game, and I think they're going to pick up a win in this. I I, I don't really think that this is going to end 2-2. I know that's, that looks like a good score line, um, and you know if, if that's what you fancy, then that's what you fancy. But I actually see Italy maybe pulling out a 2-1 win in this game. Uh, I don't think it's going to be quite as high scoring as the prediction is. I do see over 2.5 goals, 2-1 uh, to Italy, uh, but I think their defense is just too good to keep Spain uh, out of goal. And yes, although Spain... Um, did score five goals uh, over the course of 120 minutes against Croatia. This is a team that's really actually f not clicked in the final third. Um, a lot of poor finishing. Uh, Gerard Mar Marino uh, was very guilty of poor finishing against Switzerland. Uh, and um, yeah, I think Italy's defense can uh, hold Spain uh, in this game. And it could be a 2-1 game with Italy coming out on top and punching a ticket to the finals. All right, let's take a look at the game now on the 7th, which is going to be the second semifinal, and that's going to be Denmark taking on England. And um, like I said before, Denmark are the Cinderella team in this tournament, and they're, they're playing from some fantastic football. Um, they defeated Russia 4-1 to punch their ticket to get into the round of 16. Um, in the round of 16, they blasted Wales 4-1, and then they uh, defeated the Czech Republic 2-1 in a very good game, a game that they controlled for the most part until the end. Once, uh, excuse me, once uh, Czech Republic got that goal, um, they put a little bit of pressure on Denmark, uh, and it was a little bit of a nervy finish in that game. Uh, if you're looking for a, a, a Danish player who could get on the score sheet in this game, Kasper Dolberg has scored. Uh, two, three goals in his last two games. He's really on fire right now. Um, but he's going up against England's striker, their top striker, Harry Kane, who's scored three goals in his last two games. So um, a battle of two in-form goal scorers. But I'm going to have to give the edge to this one to England because they just have such a fantastic team, uh, a golden generation, really, uh, of players. And we really saw them click finally in the final third against Ukraine in the quarterfinals. It was a 4-1, or excuse me, a 4-0 win. Uh, Harry Kane getting on the score sheet in that. And what we saw for the first time was Gareth Southgate playing Raheem Sterling on the left side. We saw Jaden Sancho playing on the right side with Kane through the middle. And that really opened things up differently. A lot of pace on those wings to get the ball in. And I think England if they if, if Southgate will start with that formation uh, with Mason Mount playing uh, as an attacking midfielder behind Harry Kane, I think that uh, England are going to come through this game. I think it could be a tight game, and I like that two one scoreline for this. Uh, now keep in mind, England have not conceded a goal 
all tournament long, five games without conceding a goal. That's a 450 minute uh, drought uh, of goals for opponents against England. Um, they're playing brilliantly. Uh, Southgate sets them up in a 4-2-3-1 formation uh, using two pivots to protect those defenders. And uh, it's really worked throughout this whole tournament. They've ridden their luck a little bit against Scotland, uh, clearing, a, 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 off the top of my head, remembering clearing a, a, a goal-bound shot off the goal line. Uh, John Stone's doing that. Um, he's playing fantastic, by the way, uh, as well as uh, the rest of the defense. Uh, uh, so I really think that England are going to come away with a win here. 2-1 looks like a good scoreline to me. Like I said, Denmark have nothing to lose. They, they can go out and uh, really go for it here. Um, like I said, they're playing with the momentum uh, they've had that of that near tragic uh, incident uh, at the start of the tournament. So they're, they're playing with that momentum, that emotional momentum. Um, but I think it's going to run out now uh, against England on Wednesday night. Okay, so those are the picks for the games this week. Now, before we go, I want to take a look at the playoff simulator. Now, we've used the playoff simulator here on uh, on the YouTube channel quite a few times now during the Euro 2020 tournament, and it gives you an idea of, based on all the metrics that Z-Code system uses, um, to predict what or who will win the tournament. Now, let's just scroll down here. If we just scroll down to the bottom, we've got our playoff simulator right there. So I'm clicking on the playoff simulator, and you can always go and check it out on the blog. I've got it up there as well uh, on the new blog that uh, I've posted there. Uh, so we've got the teams in the knockout stages of the Euro 2020 tournament, and just on the upset level of average, we've got, see there, Denmark and England, and we've got Spain and Italy. So I'm just going to hit simulate, and we're going to see what we've got on an upset level of average. It just takes a few minutes for all the gears and mechanisms to work here to give us our predictions. And there it is. We've got England up, uh, defeating Spain 2-1 in the final. And uh, as you can see there, we've got Spain coming uh, overcoming uh, Italy, according to the simulator, as well as we've got England overcoming Denmark in the semifinal. So that's a great uh, prediction and one that um, you know really could happen, even though I do fancy uh, Italy over Spain in that game. Uh, that's my personal preference. And, you know, you might say that um, because I have also put a pre-tournament wager on Italy that could be shrouding uh, my picks uh, for the semifinal. So, you know, that, that's uh, very much um, something that happens in betting bias. Uh, we want to we want to pick and choose the teams that uh, we want to root for. Um, so when then when we have our upset level as low, we've also got England again overcoming Spain in the final. And then we're going to do it one more time. We're going to stimulate one more time. This time we're going to use the high upset level and we're going to simulate that right now, and we're going to see what we can come up with as we've got England uh, picked to win the tournament in the previous two simulations. Now we've got the upset level is high. Well, again, the upset level is high. Three out of three picking England to win the Euros, which would be unbelievable uh, for uh, the fans of the three lines and the nation. Uh, and we see, though, the difference in our upset level of high. We see Italy overcoming Spain in the semifinals to play in the final. All right, guys, so those are my picks, and those are the picks from Z Code System. So let us know what you think. Comment below here on the YouTube channel. Let us know who you think is going to win the Euro 2020 tournament and uh, who you think are going to win the semifinals as well. And uh, let us know, what you th let us know uh, how you think we're doing here at Z Code System. And, of course, as always, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, and go over to Z Code System and sign up today to get all of these great tools to enhance your sports betting, whether it be soccer, whether it be American football, whether it be basketball or baseball or UFC. Uh, we've got a big UFC fight coming up between Poirier and McGregor, so you don't want to miss out on that. And we've got the tools at Zico System to help you make educated bets on all of your MMA. So guys, we'll see you soon when we come back to you here on the YouTube channel with Zico System.